Hi, my name is Joe, and today we're going to be reacting to the Aided Dogger banner, and I guess Marianne is here too. Let's take a look-see. I really like the uh, artwork for the new Dogger, so I hope she's actually good. So I guess this is Marianne. Whoa. With the... It's not Blutgong, right? It's... It's something else. Whoa. She's got the, the sword, but she's a red tome. I guess this is kind of like how uh, the Shezes, they have swords, but they're all dagger units. Something like that. Because this is a magic sword. Yeah, it's Blutgong, I forgot. She's got crystalline water. Whoa. Some like turbo sabotage. And then Crux. Cool. And a new special. And she's a flyer. All right, let's take a look. Whoa, this is super short. So we got Slaying, all stats plus 14, 15% attack true damage, including with an AoE. Flat damage reduction by 7 on the first attack, including Brave, uh, and Tempo. And minus 1 special acceleration. Okay, cool. Or special jumping, rather. Okay. Very simple and pretty strong for an inheritable. Not that not breaking the mold with anything, like it's it's a ton of stats. Good. It's slaying, always good. True damage, good. Flat DR, amazing right now. And then tempo, always good. And then special jump on an inheritable? We take those. So what's the special about? When special triggers, boost damage by 40% of units res and neutralizes damage reduction. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If res is greater than foe's res, reduce damage during combat and from AoEs by percentage equals 4 minus current special cooldown value times difference between stacks, max difference, 10. So if I'm reading this right, it's if you meet the res check, you get up to 10 flat DR. Nice. Very good. Uh, if unit triggers special during the current turn, enables Kanto 2, so this is kind of like attack speed mastery in that way, where it's like, oh, if you entered combat, then you get Kanto 2 after. It's kind of like that. When Kanto triggers, enables unit to use Sing and Dance. Can be triggered by any Kanto effect other than the Kanto effects from this special once per turn. If similar effects are active, this effect does not trigger. This effect is not treated as an assist skill, nor a dance. Oh my, we're really getting this uh, shadow dance. Shadow shift dance already, dude. I think we knew this was going to happen eventually, but geez. You'd think this would be on, like, Ajura or something, but wow. That's incredible. That's, that's crazy. Really solid special. And then we have Crystalline Water, and then we have Discord. So, let's see. At start of player phase or enemy phase, inflict speed res minus 6 and discord on foes with res less than units res. And the foes within 2 of that foe. So this is like, turbo sabotage. I really wish sabotage was like an actual status, instead of it just being the effect without an actual visible status. That kind of sucks. I was, I was really hoping if they made another version of sabotage like this, then... It would be an actual status, but we can't have nice things, I guess. Inflicts penalty on foe's speed res during combat equal to number of foes inflicted with discord within two spaces of target, including target times two plus four max ten, and deals damage equals 15% of units res excluding AoEs. Nice. I mean, this is just solid. Discord is, like, already one of the better statuses in the game. It always has been. It's a reason why Summer Shamir was, like such a good unit for a long time, at least in my opinion. Um, that and her amazing speed. But the fact that she just had Discord built into her weapon at a time where Discord wasn't everywhere, like, it's a great status to inflict. And then you have Crux, which is they suffer guaranteed follow-ups. Nice. I don't think this unit's gonna be, like... Like, they were definitely tame on the offensive aspects of this unit, but they definitely want her to survive with all the flat DR, and then do the Shadow Shift Requiem Prayer thing. I like how they're leaning into the beast part of this. I, I'm still holding out for Fallen Marianne being a beast, by the way. Still, still holding out on that. 
Maybe next time. And you see that she procs the special twice during this combat, by the way. So she... Shadow Shift Dance, baby. It's here. Alright, what do we got? Ash. So this is just a Three Houses banner and Dogger? Alright. Is this gonna be a demo because he has male genitalia? Oh? Oh my god, he has a perf and curve shot. More curve shot fodder, more better. Uh, Alright, let's see. So, slaying. If unit initiates combat, or the, if there is an ally within three rows, three columns, grants bonus to unit's stats, you know, 5 plus 15% of unit's speed at start of combat, and unit deals 7 flat damage, okay, not AoEs, tempo and full damage reduction piercing, nice. If unit initiates combat, grants special cooldown minus 1 to unit before first attack, okay, so 1 special jump. And also, if foes attack and trigger foes special, inflicts cooldown plus one on f Wow. Wow, what? He has scowl built in? So, okay, he has... If he initiates, he gets special jump and also inflicts scowl. On the first attack. Okay. That's interesting for a bow to have. Cool. And then allies in three rows, three columns get attack speed plus four during combat. Not crazy. And also, if ally initiates combat and foe's attack and trigger foe's special, inflicts special cooldown count plus one on foe before foe's first attack. Wow, okay. So we have three by three player phase scowl. Wow. Okay. We're talking. Now we're talking. That makes this unit super interesting. The fodder, on the other hand, not so much. I mean, curve shot? I would love to distribute Curve Shot around in my barracks, I really would. I still want to try something with Nidaveller with that, because he has some DR built into his weapon. And I would also love to revive Brave Claude, truly, but I'm holding out on Brave Remixes for that, where they actually give the units that don't have perfs, perfs? Please. Anyway, Curve Shot, Flared Sparrow, Odd Speed Wave, which is really good, and Sealed Speed Defense 3, which we saw a, a dual which we saw a seal which we saw which we kind of saw on Nidaveller, he also had a dual seal spell which we also kind of saw on Nidaveller, he also had a dual seal skill in the B slot, and I mean, it's good but it's nothing crazy, like that that could have just been a cultist strike or a uh, assassin strike, but it is what it is but the 3x3 three three Drive Scowl is friggin' crazy. I don't know why you would show this versus Thrasir like that is a modern threat by any means. Dorothea, again. We're really getting double dancing on this banner as well. Oh, she's the demo. Ooh. Okay, well, let's read the new weapon. Blar Vulture. If unit is not adjacent to an ally, inflicts penalty on foe's attack and res during combat equals 5, plus current penalty on each of those stats. Okay. I mean, that's whatever. <laughs> that's fine. You're not, you're not really going to use this. You're going to want to use whatever arcane tome you had available. Uh, and then she just has Sing, Cantrip, and infantry null follow-up on a demo is really nice to see. Let's skip ahead here. So we got Dogger. And I really like this art, except I think her head's a bit too big and it looks like copy-pasted on. Her head doesn't look like it belongs on this unit. But I like that it's leaning into this Valkyrie aspect. And I, I've never had a Dogger. To this day, I don't have base Dogger. I don't have the red dogger that was a calf but yeah let's see oh, i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that <laughs> uh anyway slaying at start of turn if there's an ally within three by three grants attack speed plus six and no follow-up as a status to unit and allies within three by three solid already i mean giving out no follow-up is crucial for a lot of units like felix so this unit's already gonna be 
a really good synergy bot with Th with Felix on defense, for example. It's a reason why Attuned Ajura is best friends with Felix, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, if unit initiates combat or if there is an ally within 3x3, three three, grants bonus to units, stats equals 5, blah blah blah, plus 14. It's basically always plus 14. Uh, neutralizes units penalties, which is fantastic. That's still one of the best effects in the game, is neutralizing your own penalties and neutralizing uh, foes' bonuses. Those are two top-tier effects to this day. Tempo, unit deals plus X damage and reduces damage from foes' first attack by 50% of X. X is the highest total bonuses among unit and allies within 3x3. Three three. Wow, okay. And this doesn't have a cap, by the way. Am I reading that right? This doesn't have a cap. All right, cool. 50% of a not super high number is definitely a bit low. Like this definitely could have been like seven plus 50% in my opinion, and it wouldn't have been too crazy, but we'll see what the rest of her kit is. Oh my God, I'm reading what the assist is. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me finish the weapon. Uh, when foe's attack triggers foe's special, reduces special damage by 50% of X. So, okay, I guess that's why. It's because you get two layers of this. Okay. Reposition gate. We're getting power crept reposition after all these years. Is this going to be arena viable SP? Let's see. Uh, if unit uses an assist skill on the current turn, enables Canto 1. So it's just reposition and you get Canto 1 after guaranteed. Well, Canto control withstanding. I mean, if it scores well enough to use in arena, then we're in there. We're so back. Uh, so many people are going to be going for this unit for this alone, probably. If you're an arena head, uh, yeah. We'll see what the rest of the kit is. XL, always fantastic. And then we have her weapon's name, Wing. Uh, Pathfinder, this is where she gets it. Start of turn, if unit is on a team with only one support partner, grants Pathfinder. So, this is the same effect that her... What was it? It Was it Wind Tribe? Or one of, the, one of the tribes where she was a Cav. I think this was the same effect, right? At start of turn, if unit is not on a team with support partner, if there's only one ally who has the highest defense, grants Pathfinder to that ally. I don't know if that's how it worked up with her seasonal variant, but... It is what it is. If you don't have a support partner, it's whoever has the highest defense. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, inflicts penalty on foe's attack speed defense equals 5, plus current bonus on each of foe's stats times 2. Okay, nice. So this unit relies a lot on bonus stats, and reduces the percentage of foe's non-special damage reduction skills by 50%, and heals 7 after combat. Uh, solid. I don't think this is anything super crazy, but the penalty on the stats could get pretty high under certain circumstances, so we're gonna have to play around with that. But the main thing you're here for is Pathfinder. That's, at the end of the day, you're here for Pathfinder. She didn't come with a special, right? She didn't come with a special. All right, and then, oh, she has Kanto Curb as well. Wow, okay. So this unit is gonna be like a must summon for ARD, by the way. ARD, summoner duels, every dogger is already amazing in summoner duels because of that Pathfinder effect. But now this one just has it power corrupt, and you have firm Kanto curb built in. So two things that you really need in SD are on this unit. Love to see it. They are really trying to go hard with these aided heroes. So we're already seeing in this combat, I know that these combat examples are not the best, but we're not even seeing penalties into the negatives here on, on Sheeta. Just saying. I really like this art though, except for her head. I don't know, there's something about her head, it looks weird. And then you get the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there no GHB? Or anything? And then that's it. Alright. So, I think this is solid. Dorothea, kind of a dud, but infantry and little follow-up is always good to have. Even, like, the normal version is good. Um, and the tier 4 version is available in the codes, I think. Yeah, in one place at least, on that Kavasir. I don't remember if it's in another place, but yeah, you can get the codes for a tier 4 version. Uh, Marianne seems really interesting. Shadow Shift Dance is certainly an option. <laughs> it's certainly a thing they decided to do. And Ash giving out a 3x3 Scowl is super interesting for a bow to have. Really, really interested about him. 
Like, uh, once again, the green bow unit is the most interesting. Weird. Uh, and then Dogger also seems really good. I'm, I'm going to try to get Dogger because, I, like I said, I don't have any Dogger of any kind. Still. My only Pathfinder source is uh, Not, and that unit kind of suga cocky. But this unit seems really cool. And she comes with Firm Canto Curb. You get the thing. Like, it's, it's all good. I think this is solid and nothing crazy. But the red share, uh, yeah, red share. That's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow for the summoning video and then ARD. All right. Have a good one.